Hi guys, welcome to day 11 of Summer of Core. Today we're gonna get a little bit away from the planks, side planks, and we're gonna come down onto our back for an upside down crow. If you've ever gone into a crow pose before Bakasana, an arm balance, you might realize how much core strength it takes, especially in your low, deep abs, to get that pose and hold it in really tight and be able to lift your hips up. So when we come down onto our backs, we'll notice which muscles are truly being used in crow, and this will give us a really nice opportunity to strengthen those muscles, to strengthen everything that's crunching in and holding us up and in without having to bother with balancing on our hands. So we'll start by coming down onto our backs, and then pulling your knees into your chest. Feel your whole spine down on the ground. And then just like we're going into happy baby, bring your knees out toward your shoulders. So you're parting your knees. And then take your heels and pull them in together so that your feet are in a V. Your toes are out, your heels are in. With your arms, you're gonna shoot them palms facing in towards your feet. And then on, take a deep inhale. On your exhale, Lift up, head, neck, shoulders, chest, hands reach through your feet. So you can see your shoulders are coming in towards your knees and your knees are staying on the outside of your shoulders. So you can really feel your abs working here. And then on your inhale, slowly lower down. Take an exhale, come forward, inhale down. Exhale and pull and lower. So keep going, you can do as many reps as you feel, but start with at least three. And use your full breath. I'll show you one other modification you can do to turn it up just a little bit if you want to. You're gonna take your arms back behind you and then take your legs out. Take an inhale here and then exhale and bring it in. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, and so on. And then you can hold it here if you want to for a little bit more. And that is Upside Down Crow. Thanks.